Hey hi welcome to Kids All Up hope you all are going well i'm really sorry that i have not uploaded any videos from the last four months because of some busy schedules but i promise you that from today onwards you will not be get this satisfaction so in today's video without wasting our time uh today we are going to learn that the relationship between the diagonals of parallelogram and rhombus do you know in our previous video we have already learned the diagonals relationship of square and rectangles so let's start today so for this activity we need any two color of papers for the two different uh, objects and then some threads and of course our gum so first of all for the first one i have taken here the green color paper and fold it in a triangular size and cut from its crease from this rectangular size of paper we are going to prepare a parallelogram now put it along its length side yes in this way and then make a crease here and cut it from the crease This is your geometrical activity so kindly watch this video till the end and do not skip the video or else you will not able to understand it properly And if you like this video then please don't forget to turn white thumb blue share more and more with your friends and relatives and if you are new to my channel then please do subscribe Okay so here it is this is our parallelogram so Today we have learned the first thing that how to convert a rectangle to a parallelogram which is very easy now we will paste it on our activity copy After doing this our first work is to measure the diagonal for this i need that thread i have taken here the woolen one for the colorful you can take the thick thread put the thread from one corner to another corner so that we can take the measure of this diagonal and then we will cut it and paste it on the other side of the paper because we don't have any space here so here we are going to paste it in a slanting way do you know why i am doing so because it does not have any more space if i am going to paste it in horizontal way so here it is done similarly we are going to take the measurement of another diagonal by putting the same thread from one corner to the another corner so let's do that one yes this is also another diagonal and now we are going to cut it after taking the measurement take the measurement properly and i would like to refer you to use the uh, cotton thread so that it will be easy for you now paste it also in the slanting way so clearly it is visible that the two diagonals are not in of same length one is the longer one and another one is the shorter one it means the diagonals are not of same length that different from each other one is the longer diagonal another one is the shorter next for the rhombus one here i have taken the black one and then fold it horizontally and vertically so that you will get the center point and also the things and we know that about the rhombus what is the property of that that a rhombus which is looking like the square whose all the sides are equal but their angles are not equal so uh, to not get the similar angles here what we need to do we will fold it from all the sides likewise it is shown in the video from one corner to the another corner we will fold it you can fold it from this side here i have used one used paper which uh, i have already used for the craft okay because i never waste any of the paper they are very precious for us and i will advise you not to waste any paper too so here we got the four crease and now we will cut it so that we will get all the sides as equal 
but the angles are not equal which will be called as the rhombus so in this video also we have learned how to convert any rectangular sheet of paper to a rhombus here it is done now we will paste it in our activity copy apply the glue properly and now we will paste it likewise for the parallelogram here also we will do the same we will take the help of the thread and we will measure the longer diagonal at first or vertical diagonal and also the shorter diagonal which one is the horizontal diagonal it is also clearly visible from the figure but we can take the help of the thread so that we can prove it through the activity so here likewise in the parallelogram we did and here also we have done the same thing in a slanting way paste both of the thread so that we can compare them and here also we can see that both of the threads are of not of equal size they are different from each other it means the diagonals of the rhombus are not of equal size one is longer another one is shorter so here we can say that this is a parallelogram and it's there two diagonals one is shorter another one is longer and in case of rhombus we can see that where all the sides are equal and all the four sides and here we also can see that there are two diagonals are pasted here and both are of not equal size also we can see that the two diagonals are intersecting each other at right angle thank you